Hello, YouTube. First of all, I want to say excuse the noise in the background. I'm watching my all-time favorite movie, which is Twilight. And I literally can watch this movie over and over again. But I am bringing you all here for a much-needed update on Cash Step, Step Cash. They changed their name a little bit. Okay, so we are here on the home screen. And here on the home screen, we're just going to start at the top. I think that's the best way. So here on the home screen, on the upper left-hand side, we have our Fitbit. This will allow you to connect your devices. You can connect your phone. You can connect your watch. Or you can connect your Fitbit. And I will, and I will actually show you each one of these screens. I just kind of want to go through and give you an idea of what the home screen has on it. Um, then as you can see it has my name and then you have the right next to that you have the little person icon and that's where you can go into your account and then on the very last you have a comment section so I'm assuming you use that when you're having conversations and stuff with people you have that comment section okay then right under that you have today's results which are how many steps I've taken today and the what it equals out to miles it also shows that I'm in the top 200. Um, it gives you the option, gives you the option to share your results. Um, you also have right under that where you can find friends. This is where you can, when you click on the select all, you can um, add followers. You can follow people. And then under that, it just gives you people who have set records um, as of right now. So let's go ahead and get into these different screens real quick. As I stated before, when you click on the Fitbit app, it's gonna take you in to change your devices. It actually is a device section, but I already have my Fitbit connected. So once you click on it, it'll take you here and you can go ahead and change your device to the phone, to your watch, or to your Fitbit. Then after that, you just go ahead and hit next. So this is just what it looks like. This is what it will look like if you would like to connect your Apple Watch. And this is what it looks like when you get ready to go ahead and connect your Fitbit. And I'm gonna go ahead and run through real quick. It literally takes like 10 seconds to connect your Fitbit. So give me just one moment. Let me go ahead and show you. All right, so here we go. Change device, select app Fitbit, next, and that's it. As you can see, Changing your device happens so quickly. It's literally like 10 seconds and you already can switch out of your device whether you want to use your iPhone or your Apple Watch or what have you. Okay, so now I want to show you what happens when you click on the little person up here on the this little person right here on the top next to my name. Um, that takes you kind of into your account. So let's go into that screen and I can show you what's going on in there. Okay, and once you go into the account app, the account icon, um, as you can see, it has my name. If I were following people, you would have the number of followers. Then you would also show the number of people that are following me. It also shows you what's in your wallet, where you can go ahead and edit your profile. And you can, what's in your wallet, then you can go ahead and edit your profile. And then you have the option to cash out if you have enough money. Right below that, um, you have your daily steps. When you click on the little circles, um, it will tell you how many steps you took for that day. Now, let me just jump back up to the little bolt on the upper right-hand corner. That is where you will have your frequently asked questions. If you have issues or problems, you can click on that. It will sh you will have several different options on there, which I will show you as well. Okay, when you click on the little bolts, that was in the upper right hand corner it takes you in here to the settings and like i stated before you have your frequently asked questions contact and support you can read their privacy policy you can log out and you can delete your entire account if that's something you would like to do when you click on edit profile um, this is where you can go change your your name your email um, you can show, tell it what you want it to display if you want notifications or not. And then you would just hit save with any changes that you make. Okay, right here in the daily 
step section. As I stated, said before, you can click on the little dots and it will take you in and it will show you the daily steps for each day. And I apologize if you hear some whining in the background, that is my dog. He is over here having a full fledged conversation with me. So we're just gonna try to ignore him and keep going. Okay, and under the daily steps, you have your feed. This is just the feed that's going on within the people that you are following. Okay, and so pretty much like Twitter, 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 when you're following people, they come up in your, your, your Twitter feed. It would be the same thing for this app. Okay, so we're back on the home screen. And from there, we're going to go ahead and we're going... The next section is just our today's results. There's nothing really to click on that other than sharing the results. And it's like any share, share option you get for anything else. You just click on it and you share results. So we're going to go into Find Friends. And I'll show you what it looks like when you get ready to follow people. In the Find Friends section, when you click on it, this is what it shows up. And then you have the option here to go ahead and follow whoever you want to follow. If you have somebody that's already using the app, then what you can do is you can go ahead and search by name and follow them that way. Um, okay, so let me see what else. Let's go back to home and see where else we need to go. Okay, now as far as the feed section, that section you can't click on. So it, it just shows you who has hit step records or any type of record within the app. So now we're gonna go, let me go ahead and scroll down here. Now we're gonna go into that middle section that looks like a little tag section. Um, in that little tag section, that is where you can get your bonuses. So let's go in there and I will show you that. Okay, so now we are in the tag section. As you can see, it is dark colored blue. Um, in this section, um, you have today's bonuses. Um, it's letting you know how many of the bonuses, how many points of the bonuses you've received. It also gives me my daily steps on the left-hand side. And then if I had um, daily step plus bonuses, it would be on the right-hand side. Under that, you have my achievements, and in my achievements is where you will, those are your achievements that you've done. So as far as loyalty, my maximum steps, and as you do these achieve, as you achieve these achievements, um, you will get more stars. So let me show you. Okay, so I went into was in the top 100 as an achievement. As you can see, I have not achieved it. Well, I guess I've achieved it two times um, where I've been in the top 100 and you will see that on the very top. This is how many stars I have as far as my achievements. Um, so I've hit my achievement a couple times. It earned me two stars, which means that it, I was in that achievement three or three times. Once I achieve it seven times, then I will get another star. Um, and once I get it 21 times, then I will be able to have five stars. So that's pretty much how those achievements work. As you do them, you receive stars and you receive extra money. Now under the achievements, you have your different types of bonuses. You have your daily check-in. So if you check in every day, you will receive 200 bonus points, um, special offers, surveys, following them on Instagram, um, random bonuses, and further to the bottom, it has the option for Twitter and Facebook to follow them, and you get 250 points per each. Um, so that's how those go. And let's go back to the home page. Well, actually, we're gonna, instead of the home page, we'll just go ahead and go to the little step on the bottom. And on that section is where you actually see people who are our winners, um, the top one, the, the top winners for today, yesterday, and stuff like that. So let's hop over there real quick. Okay, so here we are. We're on the, the tab that's on the bottom right. This shows you, and I'm actually selected the winners. These are the winners from yesterday. 
Um, as you can see, it says September 23rd. They do not provide a rhyme or reason of how they listed these people. It just says that they're winners and they have just, there's, they're not in order by step or anything like that. So I'm not sure how they list them. Now, if I were to click on today, it would show you today the, how everybody's ranking and stuff. And then um, the one in the middle is for everything that ha happened yesterday. Now here it tells me to my today's position, which I'm in the top 200. Um, and then it also gives me my points along with any bonuses that I've received. Um, that's all that this page shows you. Um, and I think there's one I forgot to show you because I just keep forgetting. Okay, what I forgot to show you earlier were the, the little box on the home screen in the upper right hand corner, the little chat box or comment box. This is what it looks like, but since I don't have any friends or I'm not following anybody and I'm not having any conversations with anybody, this is where it would be. Um, so that's what that little box means. Okay, so we are back at the home page, and I think I've gone over everything. I can't think of anything else that I need to go over, but please let me know. Please provide me your feedback and everything else, um, and I will update if I need to. Y'all have a great day. Oh my God, guys, I forgot to show you something. Um, I think I forgot to show you what it looks like when you try to cash out so i'm going to add this in real quick at the end so here you go okay so when you get ready to try to cash out i saw lots of comments of how to cash out i don't know how i forgot to add this um you will kit, kit, click on the cash out button and um this is what pops up and um if you have at least ten dollars and your wallet then you'll be able to cash out using either using amazon or paypal so guys i do apologize for forgetting to add this in earlier in the video but i did not want to end this video until i gave you this this particular information because i think this is the most important information all right you guys all right guys thank you so much comments questions feedback i apologize that i threw that in at the those two pieces the comment section or the chat section and the cash out sec section or the um, at the end. I apologize, but you all have a great day. Comments, feedback, please sh let me know what I can do different. You all have an amazing day.